This video was sponsored by Bluestacks, a free Android emulator that you can use to play Azure Lane and other games on Google Play on your PC instead. If you're interested, you can check it out in the pinned comment or the description below. What's up guys, it's your boy Ender or FBI Open Up from the Lexington server, and I'm back with another gear guide on my new favorite ship, Rishilu this time. She's hot, she's top tier, and she's got an amazing live duty skin that I don't regret buying for some reason. With that being said, let's get into the gear guide for her. Let's move in to some Rishilu gear basics. In case you didn't know somehow yet, Rishilu is the definition of an overpowered and perfect battleship. She has top tier stats for a battleship, who at level 120 has higher health and firepower than Warspite Retrofit, as well as a 20% higher main gun efficiency than her as well. So Rishilu also has some amazingly, insanely good skills. Her first skill, the Iris' Flag Bearer, gives a massive offensive boost to any French ship, increasing their firepower, accuracy, torpedo, and reload by a considerable 15%, which also counts for herself, don't forget. And on top of this, she also gives an additional 6% damage boost to the ship that is in Iris Libra, or an additional 6% reduction, damage reduction if the ship is part of the Vichia Dominion. Her second skill provides a fantastic barrage that has a very high 75% chance to proc whenever she fires a salvo, and on- oh, whoops, sorry, there you go, 75% chance to fire a barrage, and on top of dealing good damage with this barrage itself, there is also an additional 70% chance to go and inflict a special burn that inflicts damage over time, as well as decreasing the burning enemies' firepower, torpedo, and aviation by a nice 5% for a massive 30 seconds. And on top of all this, of course, she gets yet another skill. Her third skill, the Iris' Vindication, gives an extra 12% damage boost to any high explosive main gun on top of all the other damage boosts that she already gets. and. She also might as well just make the first salvo that you manually shoot per battle have a guaranteed critical chance per battle. Finally, to wrap all this stuff up, Rishi Liu also gets the same preloaded main gun mechanic like Jean Bart right here, as you can see main gun plus one right here in the limit break one. So basically this makes her able to shoot her main gun the second the battle starts, just like Jean Bart. This means that she can have the chance to shoot her barrage straight away in battle, as well as giving basically an extra salvo in every battle, which also makes her insanely good at dealing with sirens. Now Rishi Liu is just honestly has everything good for a battleship that anyone would ever need. She's got fantastic stats, fantastic skills, and overall just looks absolutely fantastic. What more could you ask for? She's absolute waifu material and she's a good ship. Get her and level her up, please. You really won't regret it. On to Rishilu's general gear loadout. First up is her main gun. Now, unlike the normal battleship, Rishilu is actually fantastic with any HE main gun due to her preloaded main gun mechanic, her barrage, and her third skill's HE main gun damage boost. For general purposes though, I would still recommend you'd stick with the triple 406mm. It has a slightly longer reload time compared to other HE options like the 410mm mounted gun right here, and the prototype version of it, which is a direct upgrade. So, But it also has the highest damage compared to it, so the highest damaging HE main gun would be the triple 406mm. This will go and let you maximize Rishi Liu's damage output from her preloaded main gun salvo, along with that 12% HE main gun boost from her third skill. But if you do want to focus on activating her barrage more and don't care about losing a bit of damage, you could also use the two faster HE main gun options that I've just said. The best in this scenario would be then the prototype twin 406mm, which is a complete upgrade over the 410mm mounted gun. Now, since its reload isn't too much longer, you generally still just want to use the triple 406mm compared to the other two options, since the reload isn't too much longer, as I said, uh, it's approximately about only 3 seconds more, but it also gives a massive extra damage output, so it's just much better to use the triple 406 for general purposes. 
Now in the next slot, we have Rishi Liu's Auxiliary Gun. Rishi Liu does have access to light cruiser guns such as the triple 155mm, so the best in slot would then be the triple 155mm, giving you some great damage output as well as giving that nice 45 firepower boost. Now also, you could use the prototype 152mm, but do keep in mind that this is pretty limited in quantity and it's better used as a light cruiser main gun instead. But if you do have an extra one lying around, it won't be too far off of this triple 155. They both give the nice 45 extra firepower and they're both very good options. They're the top candidates for this slot. If you don't have them, you could use the more budget friendly options if you don't have those gold guns. The twin 150mm right here, also known as the Cleveland gun, is very nice. It's got great accuracy, damage, and fire rate. You really can't go wrong with it. And if you don't have that, you could also use the thing that's also basically on par with the Cleveland gun, the triple, no not the triple, the twin 152mm. For the anti-air gun slot, the French faction is not really known for its anti-air stat, and Richelieu has a pretty normal one, so it's not really too much different. This means you can just follow the normal battleship recommendations for an, an anti-air gun. The best in slot for a battleship would be this twin 40mm Beaufort Stag, as it gives a very valuable 10 extra accuracy, and in that regard, the next best would then be the twin 40mm Beaufort's Hazemeyer, which gives a 5 extra accuracy, but it's better than nothing. If you don't have those two, you can always stick with your friendly neighborhood Golden Roomba, or really any other gold AA gun will be fine. If you have none of those gold guns, of course, the nice economic and budget friendly ones, also known as the best purples, are the 127mm mounted AA gun, as well as the purple Roomba. Finally, for Richelieu's aux gears, Richelieu follows the normal aux gear recommendations for a battleship. This would mean that the best would be this white shell and black shell combo, which can both be bought in the core data shop for 800 core each. They provide a great damage boost that will increase Richelieu's damage output even further. So we got the white one with a very nice firepower boost, some extra accuracy, and this very very good main gun crit damage increased by 25%. The black shell right here gives a nice flat 70 firepower right there, and it increases the main gun crit rate by 8%. They're both super good and are honestly basically the best that you can put on a battleship most of the time. Now if you do have this coveted item, the high standard fire control radar, which was from like all the way back in Fallen Wings, but most people don't have it, you could also use this in place of your black shell, some nice accuracy boost but a little less firepower, but decreasing that loading time of the first main gun volley is very valuable and very good. Some other good options are of course the standard stuff, like the SG radar, you can put that on there for some very nice accuracy boosts. Yeah, accuracy is just a really really big thing for battleships, so you'd really want to get a lot of it on them, because if you miss that salvo then you're kinda screwed. Some other good options are the normal purple fire control radar for that reason, and also the poor man's white shell, the purple version. Now for the battle showcase, I'll be doing stage D3 in the Skybound Oratorio event since I'm still grinding here because Jeanne d'Arc refuses to drop for me. Once I do get her, I'm planning to go and spend the rest of my time farming stage D1 for that very awesome and very cool golden baguette gun, which is the best destroyer gun. And since I am farming for Rune right now, this is why my vanguards are Leipzig Retro and Karlsruhe Retro. Now as I stated earlier, Richelieu is really good at killing sirens. She can proc her preloaded salvo in the beginning of battle, basically one shot that siren right there, and the battle is complete in a matter of seconds. That's very nice. Now this is the first battle, and of course by a landslide Richelieu definitely got MVP, so let's move on to the next battle. I'm kind of feeling bad for these sirens. You got the preloaded salvo, boom, instantly in the battle. We got the main gun guaranteed crit at the beginning, and just the siren just can't do anything. It's over in 11 seconds once again. That's battle number two, believe it or not. And Richelieu will steal MVP once again. Of course, by a remarkable landslide. Now on to battle number three. 
the last siren for D3. Boom, once again. There you go, barrage. And the next salvo. Oh, this time La Galicionnière actually lived. But the battle is still over in 11 seconds. So yeah, there is Rishidu, there is her power. She can destroy sirens with relative ease. Now, of course, even in battles where she's actually not even facing a siren, you can still put her on auto. Like, even without that main gun crit, it's still going to be perfectly fine. Her barrage is very good if I could get that to proc once again, but let's just go and wait. I mean, Leipzig and Karlsruhe are kind of not really doing much, but I believe in them. We got Unicorn to proc to go and heal the mech up, and let's see if Rishi Liu is going to proc for us. Phew. She's not. That's tough times right now. But anyway, um, we're just going to keep on trucking. Um, as you can see, things are getting shot, things are dying. Well, not really anything's dying right now. Mm. Yeah, commentary. Woo. Unicorn procs again, some torpedoes are launched, and let's see for the third time if Rishi Liu is going to proc. Phew, she's not. Today is just, this is just not her battle. <laughs> I guess when she's not killing sirens, she just doesn't feel like doing her job. Anyway, she does have a really high chance to proc, I'm just really unlucky. And she's still got its MVP anyway. For this next battle, it's just going to be completely in auto, so you can go and see that Rishi Liu isn't really held back at all. Oh, there's her barrage actually. The Iris' Holy Flame. Does a very nice job with those HE shells that are launched, as well as that French flag kind of thing going on. I think that's the stuff that inflicts that special burn or whatever. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, that's a great barrage, it does a ton of damage. And if the ship doesn't die, then it's just going to keep on burning from that special burn. And there you go, we got barrage number two. So today, well this battle is actually her kind of battle. And nice, that was a sweep. Now, unremarkably, of course, Rishi Liu still gets MVP, she gets it every time. She's level 100, and yeah, very, very nice. To wrap things up, let's go and show that bri this brief um, D3 boss node clear. I've got a really overpowered and unnecessary team right here. It's basically there just to go and fulfill all those requirements. Got Amagi shooting her Fakus. Yep, they're not curse words, they're Fakus. And here's Algeri. And just for the fun of it, let's call it our submarines. And watch as my fleet hopefully manages to destroy Algeri. You got retrofit procs. Pew. Nice. Got some high domos in the air from Here You Retro. And the reason why I'm using Here You Retro is just because, like, I don't know. I just felt like putting a random Sakura Empire carrier in. I needed it for the requirement anyway. Um, she's not really that good in PvE. She's mainly used in PvP. So there you go. There's the perfect. And let's see if my video luck can get me Jean Dark. Of course it's not. Anyway, I'm just going to keep on grinding there for the rest of my life. So yeah. Nice. Cool. Whatever. Now, with that battle showcase finished, wait, you're not, um, Rishilu. I mean, this is a very nice skin, I got it in the lucky bag. Oh, that's not Rishilu either, that's definitely not Rishilu. Okay, there is our queen. Anyway, with that battle showcase finished, that will conclude my gear guide for Rishilu. As always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press that notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I'll try my best to reply. If you're interested, you can always join my Discord server if you have any advice, well if you need any advice, or just want a place to relax. That'll be all for this video, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!